Jeez, how do you know that jerk? How do I know him? We went through teacher training together. You mean? That's right, Detweiler. That man is a rogue teacher. It was back in the spring of 68, a different age. We were all young, idealistic, and ready to change the world. <laughs> Peace, Peter. Hey, Muriel, had a groovy time at the Dead concert last night. Say, you're gonna be at the teaching Saturday? We're gonna paint my Volkswagen. Wouldn't miss it for the world. Groovy. Yes, we all thought we were pretty cool. But one guy was the coolest of us all. Billy and Bennett was my best friend. He was smart, he was handsome, and he'd just been named principal of third straight school. <laughs> So, Philly, old pal, how's it feel being the youngest principal in the history of the state? Copacetic, baby. I mean, you know what they say. Young is in, man. And old is out. Way out. By the way, do you like the American flag helmet, Pete? I mean, it does go with the leather jacket, am I right? You are one groovy educator, Phil. Cool. <laughs> Follow me, my man. I want to show you my new principal's pad. Psychedelic Principalia. Pull up a bag, bro. I want to rap. Lay it on me, man. You see, Pete, I've been thinking. We're a new generation of teachers, right? It's time we kind of shook things up a little. I hear you, brother. In fact, dig this. I was meditating to that new Ravi Shankar album last night when I got this righteous notion. What if we hold all our classes outside on the playground? Imagine school, recess, no boundaries. Hey, baby, that's a hip idea, but Pete, I got a better thought here. As my first official act as principal, I've decided to get rid of recess. What? No recess? But Phil, for a kid, recess is like a major play-in. It's the one time a day they have any freedom. <sighs> Look, Pete, the 60s are over. All that peace and love and freedom stuff, sure, yeah, it was great for picking up chicks, but it's not gonna help my career. To do that, I gotta make test scores go up. And to make test scores go up, I gotta keep kids in class where they belong. And that's why, starting tomorrow, I am tuning out recess once and for all. Needless to say, Philliam's plan didn't go over all that well. Cool, people, be cool. You're bumming my melanus here. We'll be cool when you give our kids their recess back. Hey, baby, I'll do what I want, because I'm the principal of the school, and there's nothing anyone can do about it. Dig? People, people, please calm down. Mr. Prickly here has informed me of this no recess proposal. And let me assure you that as long as I'm superintendent, this radical plan will never be carried out in this district. Yeah! Hey, man, you just don't get it. Of course I do, Benedict. That's why I'm replacing you. What? Prickly, from now on, you will be principal. Who, oh, me? Oh, uh, I see what's going down here. You tricked me. Went around my back to the man to get my job. No, Phil, it's not like that at all. Yeah, right. Come on, Muriel, baby. Let's blow this scene. No, Phil. It's over. I could never be with a man who doesn't love recess. So you're against me, too. Well, fine. I don't need you! I don't need anyone! Ow! Go! Phil! You okay, man? Go! Touch me! You took my chick. You took my job. Well, enjoy it while you can, Petey boy, because you're gonna pay. Somehow, some way, you're gonna pay. I never saw Philium again. He quit teaching, went into politics, eventually became Secretary of Education, until the president fired him for trying to get rid of recess again. Only this time it was nationwide. So that guy's some weirdo ex-teacher who wants to get rid of recess? Mm-hmm. Okay. Now it's personal. <laughs> 